this is part 3 video let's specify the number of sweeps uh, the number of cycle in turn is mimicked through the number of sweeps um, we need uh, 5 hours of uh, test data that's uh, 5 hours 60 uh, minutes an hour and 60 seconds and minute it's this many number of cycles we need to use now let's run the analysis again what is that uh, there's an engine uh, looping through uh, number of nodes now let's look at the cycle diagram uh, again you can you can see that that the number of cycle is still around 50 i think it's really not 50 it's limited by the range uh, let's let's set the auto range and see how many cycle yeah it's, it, it exactly matches with the number of cycles that we uh, calculated um, in in excel you can also see that range is 690 and number of cycle is uh, around uh, 8.46 e power minus 5 now let's let's go back and uh, look at um, the damage the max damage is happening at the, in the fillet region and the max damage value is 0 0.3544 uh, which is very close to um, our calculated value of 0 0.35 and <coughs> let's look at the life plot the life plot says the life is uh, minimum life is 2.821 uh, uh, so repeats our calculated uh, life is 2.8 times this 2.8 times means 2.8 times of 5 hour block of uh, test it's not just 2.82 cycles it's 2.82 into 5 hours that that's the life of this component uh, the, the important learnings uh, from this uh, exercise uh, use vibration generator sign sweep 2 to mimic the specification of uh, sign dual test um, use um, appropriate uh, nodal averaging scheme and use only the loading frequencies um, specify the duration of test in uh, number of sweeps data and use the uh, counting bins uh, for cycle count uh, appropriately for this case uh, it is one if uh, the sign dwell is done and uh, more than one um, single frequency then we may uh, need to um, use uh, appropriate number of uh, bins uh, for cycle counting I hope this exercise uh, gives you an idea uh, about um, how to set up a sign dual test using ANSYS encode design life uh, use um, the uh, cycle count and the damage count uh, histograms uh, appropriately to understand uh, what encode is doing behind the screen thank you for watching